So picture this, the floor of the Pacific isn't just a big, flat underwater desert. It's a patchwork of huge plates. Think of them as slow motion bumper cars. The biggest one called the Pacific Plate is sliding northwest at about the same speed your fingernails grow. That's right, seven centimeters a year. Here's the twist. Nothing on Earth moves in a perfectly straight line. These plates actually rotate around points on the planet's surface. The Pacific Plate, for example, spins around a spot south of Australia. How do we even know this? Well, we've got receipts. First, earthquakes. Those rumbles happen when plates rub, slide, or crash at their edges. And the way they move matches our predictions. Then there's GPS. We can now pinpoint any spot on Earth within a few centimeters, and yep, the data lines up with plate tectonics theory. Next up are the boundaries. San Andreas Fault, plates sliding past each other. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, plates pulling apart. Subduction zones like Japan, plates diving under each other. They all behave exactly as expected. But wait, there's more. As new rock oozes from spreading centers, it magnetizes, recording Earth's magnetic field like ancient cassette tapes. We read these stripes from ships and they line up with the story too. And let's not forget sediments, mud raining down, building layers that get thicker the further you go from a spreading center, matching the age of the ocean floor. The oldest ocean floor? Just 200 million years old. Old for us, but the planet's fossils go back over 3 billion years.